unlikely matchup between Paul Krugman and Estonia's president, and there's no one better to discuss it than Steve Hankey, Johns Hopkins University economist who was the brain behind Estonia's currency system. Steve, do we have you with us? Welcome. Yes, to be with you, Mary. Um, so uh, let's take a very quick look now at what uh, uh, was said by Mr. Krugman. I'm just going to read a little bit of it in a blog post. There we go. Um, so a terrible depression level slump followed by a significant but still incomplete recovery. Better than no recovery at all, but this is what passes for an economic triumph. Steve, what's your response to that? Well, if I may paraphrase uh, the great critic Paul Fussell, who just passed away a couple weeks ago, bad, bad, very bad economic analysis by Professor Krugman. Uh, Professor Krugman has three big problems always. One, he, he doesn't like to let the data talk. Uh, two, he doesn't like free market economies. And three, he particularly doesn't like currency board systems and fixed exchange rates. And, and that's, in fact, the big bang that we did in Estonia in June of 1992, when they got rid of the Russian ruble, they installed the Estonian kroon with a currency board. That currency was fixed to the Deutschmark at the time at a fixed exchange rate and backed 100 percent with Deutsche Bank. Uh, 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 Steve, I'm going to stop you right there because I want to go quickly uh, to the Estonian president's response. Uh, he uh, tweeted a few very fast and furious re replies. Here's a phrase from one of them. He says, let's write about something we know nothing about and be smug, overbearing, and patronizing. <laughs> um, Steve, uh, the currency board system did work very, very well. But tell us a little bit about you know, Estonia's economy. I mean, is Krugman right to say that this is a weak recovery or, uh, you know, is Estonia actually doing pretty well compared to the rest of Europe? Well, the, the, the president, uh, most, most uh, Estonians and Balts in general uh, don't like fiction. And, and therefore, they react negatively to Professor Krugman's uh, commentary in the New York Times. And in particular, how would you like, uh, if you had a Nobel laureate trashing your economy, when it was growing at 7.6% last year, you were running a budget surplus, and, and the national debt was 6% of GDP, and Fitch was giving you an A-plus credit rating. I mean, you, you can see why it, 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 absolutely uh, Krugman is a burr under the saddle of any sane uh, politician or, or economist in, in those Baltic countries. And, and, and Krugman said that they were going to be the first ones to absolutely, completely collapse. No, they're the first ones to bounce back. Steve, we only have uh, less than a minute left. I'm sorry, it's such a short segment. There's a lot to talk about here. Um, but you've cited some really interesting statistics there. Uh, what are the policy lessons uh, we could learn from Estonia? What did they do that worked so well? Uh, the, the big thing that they did first was they, they, they did the big bang with the currency board and they, they got a signed currency in there immediately. But basically they just embraced Reaganomics in, in a hardcore way and that's why they rank 24 in the, uh, out of 183 countries in the doing business uh, and ease of doing business report by the World Bank. So uh, Switzerland, for example, ranks 26, more, more or less the same. So they have a very free market economy, a very sound economy, and they've gone through a typical emerging market, Schumpeterian kind of boom, bust, and bounce back hard cycle and they're on the right track. They're, well, Steve, we're, we're, we're unfortunately going to have to leave it at that, uh, but I just cannot think of anybody better to explain the Krugman Estonian President War uh, than you who have helped the Baltic countries reach these enormous levels of prosperity in a very short amount of time. Steve, thank you so very much for being with us. Thank you, Mary.